So today I would like to share with you an interesting experience I recently had. Something that actually made me understand and appreciate a lot more what it means to live in a city like this, what it means to live in Tokyo, Japan. Now, as many of you might know, Tokyo is actually the biggest city in the world with more than 37 million people. But not only that, it's also the city of the whole world with the most Michelin stars. More than any city in France or in the US or in Italy or wherever that might be, Tokyo is actually in first place, if you will, and I am fortunate enough to be able to live in the city and to have the experience of what it means to live in a place like that. And so quite recently, my wife and I actually, we were celebrating our sixth year anniversary, not only of marriage, but also of living in this country and of creating our business. As you can imagine, all those things happened in, in quick succession, one after the other. So we thought it was an important occasion and we decided to take the time to celebrate it. And so we ended up going to a very special restaurant in the city. And as someone who really enjoys food, I was really able to appreciate that. And so I thought I would share that experience with you today. Now we went to a restaurant called La Bonne Table, the good table, and my, what a good table it was. The chef from that restaurant, whose name you'll find right here, by the way, and he also has a very good YouTube channel, so you should definitely go check that out too. He used to work at another place, a restaurant called Le Fervescence, which is actually, if I might say so myself, one of the most prestigious restaurants in the city. And I think currently it has one, maybe two, I'm not quite sure, Michelin stars. I'm sure you might check that out and let me know. I personally have never had the chance to, to go there, but I hope to go there in the future at some point. Anyways, he, he used to work there and for reasons that he must know, he decided to just leave and go open another restaurant in a different part of the city, La Bonne Table. And this was a really beautiful experience. From the moment you step in, the service is really quite exceptional. Just from the way they take care of you to the fact that, for example, the, the, there are paintings in the restaurant that change and evolve as you progress through your meal. Some paintings are, for example, in black and white, and then as you go through your menu, the paintings start gaining color. Or we also had a version of the Mona Lisa, which apparently if you look at her at the right time, she might wink at you. Although I, I didn't get the chance to see that, but we did hear from our server that there was another table where one of the customers did see her wink but no one else would believe him. So I thought that was quite an interesting story to tell. But the food was also just absolutely fantastic. Not only in terms of quality, but the simplicity and the attention to detail and the complexity of flavors, I think perfectly exemplifies that attention to detail that Japan is so famous for. Now, d don't get me wrong, I'm not a restaurant critic or a reviewer of any kind by any means, but I just thought I would share with you kind of my personal thoughts on what we experienced that day. Now, as, as you can imagine, we're in the middle of summer and so we were able to enjoy the summer menu because it changes every season. And right now the menu really beautifully navigated sort of the, the evolution of ingredients through the summer season, starting with just a very simple and beautiful collection of vegetables, which are basically just vegetables from the different gardens and farms that give their produce to the restaurant. And we also had peach and tomato gazpacho with sea bars, grilled sweet water fish with watermelon and, and ginger and, and cucumber salad, as well as other things that belong to a, like a later stage of the summer, like venison with red wine sauce and a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin and hazelnut puree. It was really just a fantastic meal. And for dessert, we just had an impeccable way to end an impeccable meal with a lavender pavlova and actually a very interesting chocolate and raspberry takoyaki. Now, as you know, takoyaki is actually a, a, an octopus ball, basically. But this was the chocolate version, octopus not included. It was really a fantastic meal. And even though, of course, after that, I had to continue on my way to work, it was really something that really overshadowed the rest of the day's activities with, with a beautiful sentiment and a beautiful appreciation for the work that all these people are putting 
into their service and into the meals that they give their customers. It was really absolutely a beautiful experience. So I guess all that's left to say is that if you're coming to Japan, if you're coming to Tokyo, and you wish to have a beautiful culinary gastronomic experience, definitely going to La Bonne Table will be worth it. So I guess that's my recommendation or sort of my review for today. La Bonne Table was really a beautiful, beautiful establishment and a beautiful, beautiful experience. And if you're ever in Japan, you should definitely check them out. And for all of you watching, I'll leave you another very, very useful video right here. So don't miss it. And in the meantime, take care and I'll see you next time.